Okay, boom, viewers, welcome back to the channel. Subscribers, you already know the thing set for bliss. Hope you're having a wonderful day today, but you know my style. One bag of bag and the one I gotta continue giving them daily updates on the people you see and don't see on the screen. That's why it's extremely important to watch to the end so you don't miss that thing. And with that being said, dancehall artist Ching Ching is a to appear in court after he was charged with breaching the terms and conditions of his firearms license. Following a traffic stop in Portland last Wednesday, <laughs> reports from the Portland police are that the entertainer, whose real name is, you know, Radian Beckford, was stopped during a routine traffic enforcement operation on the San San Main Road in the parish. During the operation, Beckford declared that he was in possession of a firearm and ammunition. It is understood that Beckford had been granted a firearm certificate on March 2nd, 2023, but the license had expired on September 19, 2023. The entertainer gun was seized and he was charged with breaching. You know. Section 44 of the Firearms Act. So basically, him license did expire for like six months. You see me? Uh, um, so it's not really a big deal, but a big deal. You know what I mean? Because, you know, you're granted... Um, you know, permission to have these types of things. Or whatever, you see me, I say. It's not like the regular get a youth them who have the thing them are sending from Florida or Haiti or wherever the man them say them are come from, Pan. you see me, I say. Um, but he needs to go take care of that, you see. So I'm just like giving a quick update while I go on for the Kwan. Put in the comment section waiting about that because you know, Tammy Lee just come out of jail for firearms, you see. You know what I mean? And you know, them just increase the firearms. Um, sentence <laughs> yeah anyway people let's proceed to the next me not always a show you love. All right, I'm always a show you love. You get up and unfollow me. Me not always a show you love. Are you unfollow? Me pull down your unfollow me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, boy, oh boy. I don't think dancehall princess Shinsia was ready for this conversation with dancehall queen Spice. You see me as as you know the two of them is baddies Caribbean judges. You see me as and this is the first conversation they had, um, with each other. Um, you know, I don't know if it's been five years or three years. It's been a couple of years. Well, you see me as uh, and them want to know who follow and follow who and who black who. But the people in me saying Shensia is lying because we all know the story. Go, you see me as uh, um. Shensia did unfollow Spice first. <laughs> you see me? Put in the comment section if I lie, me I tell. You see me? I say. Get Get we need a record next. <laughs> it's like we, need, we need a Shensia. Like she knows she's there. Spice, why you black me for? She knows she's there. <laughs> of course, it's like a show. I'm unfollow you if you black me. No. It automatically like unfollow you. I remember saying me pull you and unfollow me. Uh, me, I know who I'm not down to yeah, like I said, you know, everybody know the reason why Shensei are on Fala Spice. You see me? It's because of Ramesh, you know what I mean? Um, Spice always said the beef was between her and Ramesh and nothing to do with Shensei. But you know, Shensei are liar to the thing. So, you know, whatever Ramesh says or does, she'll go follow suit. You know what I mean? Because Ramesh, him on Fala Spice too. You see me, I said, put in the comment section what you think about that. We don't have to go into full details because we done cover everything wrong yesterday. You see me, I said, let's let you know this is the first conversation um, that has been made public between Spice and Shensia. And, and that's how it went, you see. So you know, Shensia, they want Spice on her album and all of these things. And she respectively declined, even though a song between them exists. But anyway, people, let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, dancer selector Footer Hype is happy that Chronic Lord this DJ Max and Jeff Ross. You see, me, I say, because you know, Jay say, him like him bottom be wash out with, you know, tongue and all of this stuff. And you know, Footer Hype say, you know, only fish do them type of activities there. You see, me, I say, so him they put out a post saying, him want to see which bad man I got perform for them. You know what I mean? And you know, Valiant and you know, um, Chronic Law was on it, you see me, I say. Um, but nevertheless, him make the post saying the new dancehall hero, Chronic Law, Straight Nation, approve your badness done, you know, for greatness and, you know, not for, for Natalie not business and all of this stuff. But a lot of people is saying that Chronic Law was at the party, but, 
you know, the police say, I'm couldn't perform. You see me, I say, I don't know if time up or what not. But the people them say he was at the party. I haven't seen any video footage of him yet. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it was surface. But I don't know what's the big deal. Because Mrs. Squash I roll with World Dog and World Dog I roll with Quiet Perry. Who is a known fish. Put in the comment section or anything about I doubt that, you know what I mean, you know, you're only allowed to chill with international fish or local fish, you know what I mean, we said popcorn with Diddy and all of these people, you know, so, that's I give you an update what I go on for that to go on, you see me, <laughs> yeah, let's proceed to the next. Because, me know, if the Grammys are the Oscar, one of them people invite any of them people, you have to go, them are go go, and you know, I be a bottom people. Run them thing there, you see me, I say, alongside them fashion world and all of this stuff. You see it, but that's again a quick update, so let's proceed to the next. Okay, people, time for some mix-up with the diaspora that's being caught up with the law. As you know, Mitzi has been granted bail. Yes, 350000 Jamaican dollars. As you know, she was arrested for trying to leave the island um, with cocaine concealed in milk powder products. Yes, Lasco, you see me say. Um, you know them saying that homegirl was set up by her friend. You know what I mean? I'm not sure how this is going to play out in another court. But you know in Jamaica, you simply pay a fine and you go your way. Because I think she's some sort of resident in the UK. No, you see me say. I'm not sure if the UK is going to take away um, her things because of this traffic violation as you know the son has been talking up the things and saying munchie are wicked and all of this stuff you see my say my people putting at the comment section where you think about that or you think this is gonna play you do you think you know she will be found not guilty if she snitches on the people that gave her these milk products and then it goes to further investigation I mean, I know you know my people <laughs> you know what i mean Boy, oh boy, this is why you can't bring things for people, you know what I mean? You have to make sure who you are bring for, you know what I mean? And even if you're sure about those person, you have to double sure. You see me also? Yeah. But anyway, let's proceed to the next person in the diaspora that's being locked up. Okay, people, the police is withholding this individual name, you see me also, for whatever reasons, you know what I mean? But um, this Jamaican convict... Uh, who overstayed in America because, you know, he was given a visa to come to America for one year in a 2017, you know what I mean, and expired in a 2018. And, you know, the thing said, him never go back, you know what I mean, and him get locked up in a 2022 for doing the unthinkable to a girl the age of, you know, over the age of 13, 14 years of age, you know what I mean, um, and has been on the run ever since, you see me, I say, well, they finally caught up with him in uh, Massachusetts, you know what I mean? So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. It's not a good look. He is 30 years old, you see me? I say, very disgusting. You know, so hopefully these people can finally get justice and get, you know, these, um, you know, demons off of the street, you see me? But, you know, when him reached Jamaica, on the Africa, deal with that case there. You know what I mean? Because we already know where the thing goes down there. You know what I'm saying? No laughing business. Now, the other day, I posted this video on my Instagram channel because me never know if it real or not. Honestly, people, you see me? I say, um, yeah, exactly what you're thinking, you know. Some people is saying it's fake. Some people is saying it's real. So, one of my followers, obviously, that read the post, well, I mean, watched the post and read the comments, um, sent me this saying, you know, hi, King Mixup, I noticed your followers didn't believe your post with the 10 toes. But, while I don't know if that particular clip is fake, here is some info that you could look into to share. Pali da katatali is the condition where humans and animals are born with, you know, one or more extra digits on their hands, feet, or paws. The record holder for the largest numbers of fingers and toes is a young Indian boy, um, Saxinina, um, was born with 34 fingers and toes, 7 fingers on each hand, and 10 toes on each foot. It's in uh, January 25th, 2018. 
And as you can see, they provided a, a link to, you know, the news article that you can follow up. You see me, I say. Anyway, people, now go longer, listen longer. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell to be notified when I read the latest. Bless.